What's up everybody? It's Tim here. I am here for Farley's 150th subscriber contest. Welcome back. Welcome back on top. You're doing vinyl rips. You're showing all kinds of cool stuff. It's so cool there's a whole new name. It's Farley's Nerd Cave. He's got comics. He's got video games. He's got a cat walking across his lap. He's got records. He's got tapes. He's got CDs. He's got laser discs. He's got it all. Including the looks, ladies. So why am I here for Farley's contest? Well, first off, he's my brother, so I gotta show up, right? But I love him. He's... One of the few people that really just kind of embraced me as I was coming in and starting all this stuff and just having a good time. But what's the contest? The contest is simple. Pick one thing that you love and tell them five reasons why you love it. I have no idea. Hmm. What? What could it be? <laughs> of course it's Ghostbusters. Who doesn't love the Ghostbusters? I love the Ghostbusters. You love the Ghostbusters. We all... That one guy. Way in the back. Yeah. Mm, that guy. Uh-huh. He doesn't like the Ghostbusters. But everybody else, we love the Ghostbusters. But why do I love the Ghostbusters? Well, I had a list. Oh, there's my list. Because I'm prepared. We're only doing one take today, kids. So I wrote down just kind of like my overviews. I don't like to prepare too much. I like to kind of come off a little bit more off the cuff. But why do I like the Ghostbusters? First and foremost, it's part of my childhood. I mean, it really was... I mean, this was what, 19... Was it 83? I think it was the first movie. So I would have been, you know, 12 years old. Somewhere in there. Um... So, it, it, it catered. It catered to that younger audience. It was... It was magic. So, it was a part of my childhood. That's the first reason. The cast. Bill Murray. The late, great Harold Ramis. Dan Aykroyd. It's also one of my other favorite movies of all time. The Blues Brothers. Just saying. So now you're already hitting home runs. You got Rick Moranis. I mean, these guys are like Second City TV alums. They're Saturday Night Live alums. They get, the, you know, they get it. They get the timing of the comedy. They get giving themselves the moment. They get the improv chops. You add in Sigourney Weaver, who was more of the setup person. I mean, talk about all these all these giants of comedy, and this person's kind of like the setup person. This is the straight person, and then. You know, even Ernie Hudson, who was kind of, I won't say an afterthought. I mean, he was a Ghostbuster, but he wasn't the original three, but still, he was there. He even got lines. You know, he was even shown that he had the chops. So, part of my childhood, great cast, and now we got a script. We got a script that Harold Ramis and Dan Aykroyd worked their butts off on. And it was a fantastic script. That script quotable. We got the tools. We had the talent. It's Miller time. See you on the other side, Ray. What are you guys? Some sort of cosmonauts? No. Exterminators. Saw a cockroach up on 12. It's a pretty big cockroach. Bite your head off. That's a big Twinkie. I mean, come on. It was so quotable. It was so memorable. To this day, people can quote it. We haven't even seen it in a while. In fact, if you're friends with both of us, Brett posted up, uh, Vinyl Victim, Brett posted up on Facebook a couple well, a week ago that he was watching Ghostbusters. Now, I had no idea that he was watching it. My son picked that he wanted to watch Ghostbusters. It's one of his all-time favorite movies. Smart kid. And so as it's loading up in the, in the player and stuff like that, I go on Facebook. And I'm like, are you serious? Brett's like 30 minutes ahead of me in this movie. We sit down. I, we watch it here. 
I comment that, that, hey, we just slapped this in, didn't even know you were watching it, and Brett and I do an hour going back and forth with movie quotes. That was fun, brother. It's memorable. So you've got a great cast, you've got a great skit, uh, script, and it's part of our childhood. But what makes it even just that better, that much better, is the magic. The magic that that movie had. There were parts that were improv. There were parts that were created on the spot. But it was so over the top. It was so unbelievable. It was believable. Even looking past, with today's technology, the CG issues that you could possibly find from 1983, it doesn't matter. When you watch that movie, you are transported to New York City in a situation where there's a giant flipping marshmallow man who is going to take out New York and you are like what are they going to do well we know what they're going to do we've seen the movie a million times but that's not the point the point is is that when that movie is on you're transported and it's that magic something a lot of movies don't have anymore it's magic and lastly it's the longevity I'm in my 40s I have three sons my three sons range from 25 to 5 they all love it this was a movie from my childhood. And they all love it. There are certain movies that I'm sure my son, my youngest, will watch and possibly love. But it's kind of hard to like a movie. I'm not calling Ron Haggerty out because he picked a great set. He, Back to the Future, own them. Another part of my childhood, love them. But it's weird to talk about a movie that's set in the future... Well, we've already passed it. You know what I mean? So it's like, it's it's ours, right? But I, I everybody do Ghostbusters. My son was a Ghostbuster for Halloween. We painted pumpkins. There's a longevity. It keeps coming back around. We collect it. We're fans. I'm wearing a freaking glow-in-the-dark Venkman slime t-shirt for crying out loud. It's got longevity. I haven't had this shirt for 30 years. I got it a couple years ago. It keeps coming around because it's a classic. So, I mean, I got the DVD set. This is not the soundtrack, kids. This is a laser disc. I don't even have a laser disc player, but I have it on laser disc. Great cast, great skip script great part of our childhood that had longevity and magic fantastic but that was the one in the five there was a bonus and the bonus was the zero show something was zero music movies not just the o letter o i mean there's a ghost you know ooh, look at that that's a that's not a zero that's an o we get it well, if you want to see a zero, check my bank account. This kid's got jokes. Uh, we're going back to the 80s. I have to. Farley, just like me, is a child of the 80s. We grew up there. Everybody remembers Reach the Beach. Everybody remembers The Fix. Great song in um, uh, One Thing Leads to Another, because it's such a great song. I remember the damn title. But they had another hit on this album. Saved by Zero. Farley, I will do anything and everything, and I do mean anything, to support you and your channel. You're a great friend, you're a great you're a great pal, you're a great chant, you have a great channel, and I you are an intricate part of all these different communities that are interwoven together. Call it what you will. You know what? I'm you know what? I'm a part of Farley's community. That's what I am. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you're not if you're not subscribed to Farley, you need to be. So, links down below. Go now. The video's over. There's no there's nothing on the post credit scene. There's no hidden secret movie part. We're done. The credits are gonna start to roll. Go check out Farley's channel. Give him a like. Give him a sug. Give him a hug. 
he likes hugs. And then check out his channel because he's got lots of cool stuff. Farley, you know I love you. Take care. Everybody, we'll talk soon. Peace.